in this video we're designing this cool intro for our channel let's jump in and do it <laughs> content creators and entrepreneurs my name is Anele and you've joined me at African Multi Design a channel dedicated to give you ideas so that when you go to the social media you look awesome and you do amazing things so I'm so happy you're here to, and we're doing this tutorial together so today we're going to do a intro for our YouTube channel you're gonna jump in and you're gonna search for YouTube well you spell YouTube correctly uh, YouTube intro and then um, you look for a template because templates are our best friends by using templates you cut half the design work and you can just jump in and do what you need to do and carry on and making amazing content so we're gonna use this template that's called let's get moving you're just gonna double click on the template to start your design and then once it's open and it's uh, available for you to start making changes then you are going to uh, click on the templates or the pages at the bottom of the page and then you're going to start editing and making it your own so with the first page because i would like to call it a design and i'm asking you to join me to let's design and make our small businesses and our content creation businesses look awesome then uh, you just click on it and or you just double click and you edit the um, text the way that you would like that's how you do the changing of the text if you want to change color you just click on the page and then the color options are up there you can choose the color and you can choose whichever color that you would like that's how you change color on an actual template I'm actually quite happy with this page I'm gonna just jump to the next page and then start editing that one as well so that's how you do it you go page by page until you finish with the actual design so you would have seen on the intro when you were watching the intro to come to the tutorial the first page has an A on it and it has um, color behind it so this template has a video so what you would do you would click on the video because you want to add your own video which was that a that you saw that uh, is part of the brand for African multi design you would like to detach the actual video that's here why I want not to add a brand new page is because the pages that the designers from Canva have created for us already have animation they already have timing and they already um, move to the next page on their own because they were designed like that to make our lives easy most so that's why we like we like using template but it doesn't mean you can't design from scratch you're welcome to do that so for now you just detach from the um, page and you just delete and then you would go to the next page detach from background and delete that one and you do exactly the same for all pages including the last page so we're going to detach now all of the pages are detached now we are ready to start adding our own um, information and start changing this to make it our own so i'm going to go to elements now and once i get to elements i'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the page until i find the frames when you get to frames you just click on see all and then you scroll down until you find the alphabets and all of the alphabets are there so i want to use the a i just click and drag the a and i paste it to my actual page and then my a is there next i would like to go um, add the video on my frame so then i would go back to videos and then i'm going to search for particle lights and then um, Canva is going to give me all of the particle lights options that are available so you would scroll down until you find the one that you like 
Okay, so this is the particle lights that I've, I've, I like and I use. You click and you hold and you drag it and you just dump it on the A. Once it highlights in blue like that, it shows you that it's going to be placed inside the alphabet. And then that's how you click and you drag your video. So the video is added there, but um, once you click on the video, it shows that the video is going to be playing for nine seconds. That's long. You're going to crop the time that plays on the video because you don't want the video to be long. You want it to be a bit short. So you're gonna click and you hold and you're going to reduce your time to 1.5 seconds. And last thing, you're going to change the background of the page by clicking on the page and then you change the color to whichever color you like. Uh, let's go with the purple one and we can have a look at it now and see how it plays. So page one is nice and we're happy with that. At the moment, it shows that there's no animation added on the A. I would like the first A to have an animation. So I'll click on animate and I'm gonna check if I want to use the rise or the pen. I'm happy with the rise and then it is for 1.5 seconds. Then you do the exact same thing on page two. You can just change color and go and look for the M, drag the M to the middle, and then drag your particle lights. Click on the particle lights, change the timing to 1.5 seconds, and then on, um, this particular one, we want animation to rise. And then we're gonna go back to the first page. We're gonna copy the A. We're gonna come to page two. We're gonna paste the A over there. And on the page two, I don't want to have the animation. I just want an animation on the second uh, alphabet that's coming in. And then I'm happy with that. Then I jump to number three. I do exactly the same and I drag my D and I drag my particle lights I change timing to 1.5 second and I will animate with the rise for D and then I'll copy my A and M and I'll place it on the last page and I'll size it nicely so that it's um, aligned. And then I will take off the animation on the first two letters. And I just want animation on the D. And then the last slide, I would like to change and make, use that cropping that was given, or that graphic that was given to me when I got the template, just shift it a bit and move it so that it covers the whole canvas. And then I'm going to move our fitness to there, delete that and add our own name. So now I'm going to copy the three um, letters. I'm going to paste it on the third page because they are automatically grouped when they were posted, I'll just make them a little bit small so that they look like that and I add them to the last page. And then I would like to add text of what our social media handle are all about. And I'm gonna change our Okay, no, don't like that font. Let's go with Bukhari. Let's go with that one. Yes, and Control A and add our social media. Design like that. And I would like to add animation on that one. 
alight first. Let's go with first. And then that one, 1.5 second. No animation in the last one. Because the last D from the last slide, it comes in as an animation coming through to the last page. And the last thing would be for me to change the text here and then we can test. Okay, cool. So let's test the design and see how it looks like and how it feels like. Okay, I'm not happy with the glitches that I'm seeing. So especially at the end of um, the video with the slide. So maybe we can increase the time on the alphabet a little bit because we still have a little bit more time. With the intro, it has to be 10 seconds or less um, when you're designing. So at the moment we are at seven seconds. We can just increase a little bit of time there and make it like a little bit longer. So let's make it maybe three seconds so that it doesn't jump around and glitch like that. Just increase the lettuce to three seconds and then um, we'll see how it looks like after we adjusted that. It shouldn't glitch so much. About nine seconds. Awesome. That looks a little bit better. I'm happy with that. That's 1.5, 1.5. These two don't animate. So you just check your design and see we this one doesn't animate. So let's put a pen animate on the actual slide. This one is also not animated. Okay and do that, it just added another slide. We don't want to duplicate a slide. Okay, let's quickly animate this one as well. Make it pen. Okay, cool. I am happy. You can continue making your adjustment. What you would then do is you'd go to download and you download it as an MP4 so that it downloads. Sometimes when you're checking it and you're still designing, it gives glitches. So let's download it and let's see how it looks like after we've downloaded the video. Awesome. Now that it's downloaded, let's quickly have a look at it. Anyway, that is how you design using your particles and um, making an intro on Canva. I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope we're going to have lots more. If you haven't subscribed, please consider sub subscribing and I will see you in the next video.